Hey, this is a quick video which should do two things. One of them will show you quickly what I have here um, instead of the cigarette lighter which broke very quickly and the other one show you the quick update that I've got to use USB-C which is a lot better than the well for my use is a lot better than the two uh, 5 volt 2.1 amps so yeah the what you get in the packet is the little device with a little flap that breaks very quickly. Now this is the original, um, if you can see this is how it originally looked when it had a flap and you can see that the flap broke very very quickly. Um, but we're going to get this off and we're going to show you what, uh, how to wire it up because unfortunately when I tried to do this I couldn't really find any wiring either to put the original back in which was one of the things I wanted to do uh, or to put this in and obviously I was quite lucky having a car which is uh, non electronic so I could play around with these things but it's still not ideal so here we have the replacement which again has one of those boxes that um, doesn't let people who aren't able to open boxes um, use it. But again, we have the useless cover, which will undoubtedly break off. And so I am actually going to unscrew that. Take it off because there is, there's really no point. Um, it should come off pretty easily like that. Um, I could choose to leave that on. I honestly don't see why. I mean, if you had a soft top uh, or if you, I mean, honestly, I just don't see a reason why to have that on. So that is going back in the box. And we're now going to take this off and put in the new USB-C version. So what I can do is with this one, I can charge both my um, USB-C laptop and my uh, battery that I have. I have a Goal Zero battery that uses USB-C. And I've got the quick charge for the various other devices. Um, I will miss having two, but what I'm going to do is that conveniently, when you buy these, they come with these. Um, some of them come with this wire, which is very useful, that helps you plug into the battery, and some of them don't. Now, the first one that I got came with this wire, and uh, I think I discarded the wire, which was not very clever of me because then I quickly ordered another one that I was going to drill a hole in the back of the cubby box to install and it didn't come with this wire. So now I have got one with this wire, I'm going to stick the USB-C and one USB here and then I'm going to use this cable to make sure that I put the other one in the back. And so then we are covered. So I'm going to put this over here and we are going to ignore someone driving past too fast. I'll make a bit more noise while I put these covers in here and then we get the trusty oversized screwdriver. So you probably don't need to see this but why not, let's just unscrew it, you can see it pretty easily. Now I am going to do something quite special with this cover, put this up here, which I have pretty much finished and we'll show you to continue because these cheap plastic things are not that great. So around the back here you've got a little nut that will need holding whilst you do this, which is which has a little washer that wants to fall off and lose itself. And on the back of here there is another one. And once you take these off, you should be able to pull this thing off. As you can see, I've managed to drop something else. But the wires that you need for this, originally this blue wire went on as well, but you need the black wire and the green wire, at least on my old Defender. So we're going to take the green wire and a double check. It comes to, you can see the wiring there. My, I had the EGT fail, hence the, um, the lovely uh, white sealant there to make sure it hopefully doesn't again. Need to get that back, but 
So the green goes to positive and the black goes to the negative. You need to unscrew this, push it out, which of course it does very easily. Probably need to screw it out, I can't remember now. Do I need to screw it out? That'll be a pain, won't it, if I need to do that? Yep. <laughs> a crack is the sound of a yes. So yeah, let's screw this out. And yeah, this one wants to be screwed in as well. Oh goody. I'm pretty sure I pushed it in last time. Yep. I've got to replace it one of these as I said. So I'm not particularly bothered. Same lock ring as the other one. I don't know which one I've got. But on it goes. Honestly you don't need it as you can see. <laughs> the last thing you need is a is a lock ring. But we are going to put it on anyway because the Defender does vibrate. Certainly 300 TDI vibrates more than pretty much any car I've known. Is that straight? Yep. Right, let's run this down. So yeah, the original charger wasn't great. It basically fell apart one day. And yeah, it's... Uh, so you'll see this is the other way around. So I've got to get the black to the positive. Was it the green? Sorry, the green to the positive. And the black to the negative. And let's push it back in. I'm going to make sure that actually works before I go any further. Twelve point seven volts. I think that lies. Yeah. Yeah. Twelve point one. Thirteen point four. Does lie at the beginning. Thirteen point five. It's not the most accurate. Uh, voltmeter in the world by any stretch of the imagination but it is slightly indicative um, and uh, as you can see this started the first time which you could have done with 12 point something but yeah let's get uh, get that off and get the bits back in let's screw it back so I need the bolt which went on the floor obviously in a way that I'm probably gonna have to get out of the car to get Right, let's get this one first. Don't you just love it when that happens? I'm now wondering whether this bolt at the back is an improvisation on my car. You can let me know in the comments. I'm gonna have to get out and get my other bolt. I think it is actually. you can see it's amazing voltage it's not the world's greatest voltmeter but yeah it's really useful I did get the wiring wrong at the beginning and it's strange it did work the only problem is that it would stop working about an hour or two hours into a journey which was interesting if anyone knows why that is obviously let me know as well but yeah I'll uh, I'll get this out and uh, Get some more videos out, it's about time. It's been a long time since I did the other ones in the summer. <laughs>